Good morning. Thanks for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Molly Hendrickson and I'm Micah Smith. Let's get right to our top stories. The House has passed legislation to increase the amount of stimulus checks from $600 to $2,000, but the measure faces an uphill battle in the GOP controlled Senate. 44 Republicans voted for the bill in the House, and while some Senate Republicans support the plan, we'll be watching to see if all of them support the measure. Even one no vote would stop the bill. A deadly shooting at an Aurora restaurant was the result of an argument over cold food. Police say Jacqueline DePaz and seven others walked out of Morisco's El Rey without paying last Tuesday. A waitress followed, as did a nearby diner named Rudy Argeo Rios, who was coming to her defense. Rios was shot and killed a few minutes later in the parking lot. Police say DePaz was responsible and arrested her on charges of second degree murder. Fresh snow, it's tempting to head into the backcountry to go skiing, but avalanche danger is a serious concern right now. We've already seen hundreds of avalanches in the last week, most human triggered. An avalanche watch has been issued for much of the front range, including those popular spots in Vail, Aspen and Summit County. Four people have been killed in avalanches so far this month. We usually see an average about, of about six such deaths each year. Now here's meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo with our Denver 7 Weather Action Day forecast. It's still a lot of fresh snow to fall in the mountains today, and you're waking up to a new light layer on the ground with a little more to come. In fact, you can see a band of snow here stretching north, a little closer to North Glen, and then south and west from there where we're seeing that now here within the next few hours rolling over the front range. So a little more snow on top of what's already on the ground. It is going to be another pretty cold, cloudy day today. Light snow possible again this afternoon. We're looking at temperatures that are only going to be in the low to mid-30s this afternoon. So pretty cold as you step out the door, some teens and 20s with highs once again in the 30s. We've got Denver at right around 34 degrees by 3 o'clock this afternoon. As you get up into the mountains, teens and 20s there with again more snow. Skies will clear out tonight. We'll see more sunshine and some low 40s here in town tomorrow on Wednesday.